Playing Minecraft on one heart is really difficult. But playing Minecraft on one heart on a server full of people that want to kill me is practically impossible. But about six months ago, I was forced to put this to the test. On the Lifesteal SMP, every time you kill someone, you steal a heart. And I was dying so often that I managed to get myself down to two whole hearts. But all of that changed when Woogie X came along. You see, my friend Parrot started some kind of war over this tree. And this Woogie guy really wants the tree. And because Parrot's my team, Teammate, I obviously knew where the tree was. So Woogie came up to me and started asking me a lot of questions. But of course, I'm no snitch. So I didn't tell him anything. Except for exactly where the tree is. Okay, maybe I'm a snitch. And for some reason, Woogie just killed me anyway. So now I'm on one heart. My team thinks I betrayed them. And... Woogie's team also wants me dead still. So now my goal is to get to a normal amount of hearts with the entire server trying to kill me. Okay, so take a moment to put yourself into my shoes. You have one whole heart and no one to rely on. What do you do? Yup, I heard exactly what you just said. That's right, commit a robbery. I'm so afraid. I have a bunch of gold. Golden apples. Look at that, easy. So now, eat one of these. And now I have three hearts, but only temporarily. We can take on anyone now. We can take on anyone now. So now with two extra temporary hearts and a bunch of stolen goods, it was time for me to figure out how I was gonna get my next heart. Option number one was pretty obvious, kill someone. But of course, if I am hit literally once with a sword, I am banned from the server. Option number two was to try to craft a heart since hearts are craftable on the server. But that's also out the window because I need totems of undying. And the only way to get totems of undying is by killing pillagers and of course with one heart i don't see myself killing many pillagers i could also probably trade with another player on the server but sadly i've developed this little thing called trust issues and lastly option three was to make a trap but that also wasn't very viable as most traps result in you not gaining a heart however if i were able to directly cause the person's death using a trap i might be able to steal a heart as i've done it before so now with all this in mind i decided to settle on option three the plan from here was pretty simple. Brew up an invisibility pot, lure somebody to this random fall trap in the middle of nowhere, and then when they least expect it, push them in. That way I'm guaranteed kill credit and hopefully don't have to fight anyone. But I haven't mentioned the flaws with this plan. First of all, everyone on this server carries pearls. Nobody would be dumb enough not to. Second of all, nobody's dumb enough to follow me to this random fall trap. This is my best friend in the whole wide world. And today, we're gonna be taking advantage of him. You see, my friend Pangy happens to be really, really dumb. So I believe I'll be able to throw him into this pit without any problems. Let's get started. Hi, Zam. Hi, Pangy. I need your help. So I'm building this trap and I kind of need your help with building it. I feel like this is a trap, but I'm I'm, I'm coming. Right. Oh, hello, Prince Zam. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Is that the I'm trap? I'm very scared. Yeah, that's the trap over here. Yeah, okay. you're one heart, right? <laughs> Yes, I'm on one heart. I'm very afraid, yeah, I've okay? Heard, I've heard. So I've built this, right? Pangy was right where I needed him. All that was left to do was push him in. If I messed this up, Pangy would literally ban me from the server. I had no choice. It was do or die. The trap had failed. Or so I thought. You see, Pangy literally couldn't believe that I tried killing him. So I told him that this was one big trust exercise for my next video, and it seemed to work. So now all I had to do was get him to trust me, and then I could push him into the trap and steal his heart. Come stand next to me, come stand next to me. Listen, okay? You can trust me. I, I won't push you in. Like, literally just stand here next to me, okay? And I won't push you in. This is a trust test. But if there is water down there... Uh-huh. I think he can jump down. I, that, that breaks the trust test. I can't get back up. Listen, man, you failed the trust test. I don't know what to tell you. You failed my trust test. No, I'm running away now. Alright. No, wait, come back. Look at this TNT. Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna you're blow not it up. You're gonna See, kill I told yourself. you. I told you. You can trust me. See, I didn't blow what it do you up. Mean? You don't want to throw me into the pit, okay? And I don't want to throw you into the pit. So let's just work together and throw someone else into the pit. Let, what do you say? You want me to jump in the pit, don't you? Yes, jump in the pit, please. But before you jump in, I need to, like, push you in so that you get my heart no okay i'm gonna trust you but i first want to put my stuff in my under chest before i'm gonna trust you all right okay you can do that so pangy putting his stuff away meant that he was gonna be completely defenseless so instead of throwing him into the hole i could just straight up kill him so i began following pangy around until i found him inside of this house with no armor on and that's when i realized it was time to strike hey what the <laughs> Pangy, I will be leaving your shulker box there. I'll see you later. Two hearts! Two 
hearts. Two hearts, baby. Two hearts. We are up today. So now that I had the pangy heart, it was time for me to get my next one. And to do that, I tried crafting a heart. But in order to craft a heart, I need to be able to complete a raid. And if I want to complete a raid, I need a maxed out bow. But I can't really get a maxed out bow on my own, as I don't really have a base. So like anyone would, I decided to go rob the base that I robbed yesterday. I immediately got myself my maxed out bow. But before I left the base, I stole two shulkers that weren't there the day before. Now these were really important because they belonged to the only other player online, Mape it. And because he was just here a moment ago, he knew that I was the one who's been robbing him all this time and was now hunting me down. Oh my god, he's back. Okay, okay, that's great. I'm so good. Oh my god, wait, is he attacking me? Oh my god, he is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not good. Oh my god, he's hitting me. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think he took the boat. Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. I've got this, I've got this. Okay, I don't got this so much. I don't think. Oh, dude. No. No. Bro. Oh, my God. He's just taking all my health immediately. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe this time the chorus fruit will work in my favor, hopefully. Please. Oh, my God. It's just not working. They're... Oh, my God. No! Oh my god. Okay, can I just pass him? Just pass him. Okay. Did he pick up that boat? Oh my god, dolphin! Dolphin! Okay, okay! I think I'm safe. Please tell me he didn't get it too. Please tell me he didn't get it too. After this insanely lucky escape, I decided to run as far as I could till I found a pillager outpost in a village. This was so that I could have everything I needed to craft hearts. However, I have a confession to make. I'm unbelievably afraid of vexes. Those little guys are just too unpredictable and with two hearts, I'm not taking any chances. So to counteract my fear, I broke one of the server's biggest rules and built a raid farm. Nothing too crazy, just something that would allow me to kill pillagers without getting hit at all. This raid farm got me eight totems, which was enough to get me two extra hearts. And now that I had four whole hearts to my name, I decided I was finally gonna do raids properly. Now I had no idea if I could even do raids on four hearts, but I figured it was worth trying. And after completing the first one without getting hit once, I felt really bad about building the raid farm. The raids were going by insanely fast, and before I knew it, I had seven hearts to my name. But before I went to bed that night, I started thinking about what I was gonna do when I finally had a normal amount of hearts. Was I gonna take down Woogie X? Was I gonna take down Parrot and his team? Or was I gonna just live out my days peacefully? And then I got an idea. Parrot wanted to fight Woogie and his team two days from now. So if I just hopped on when they were gonna fight, I could quite literally kill two birds with one stone. So with my goal in mind, I went to bed. And now with one day left to prepare, I began looking for hearts. I'm gonna make a trap. I have an idea for a trap. It's, it's a pretty simple trap. I think it could work out well, maybe. We just need to pray that no one breaks the floor. I don't wanna see something cool. It might be a trap but it might not. Up to you if you wanna take that trust test. Okay, Planet says he trusts me. That's great. I'm so glad Planet trusts me. Hi. Hi, Planet Lord. I have a house just like yours, kind of. Do you wanna see it? Yeah, sure. Okay, I think, I think you'll like it. I don't know. Hi. 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 Boom. Secret lair. Come down. Whoa. This is my secret hideout. I don't show this to many people. What do you think of it? Like the thing, you know? Yeah! Are you gonna like revamp it and make like a base? Yeah, I think I'm gonna turn it into a base. Okay, but planet, come over here. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god, you had so much stuff on you. I feel so bad. Oh my god. Okay, well, it's all still here, luckily, but oh my god, that's so much stuff. <laughs> <gasps> what? Why did you have so much stuff on you? I trusted you. Uh, I'm so sorry, Planet Lord. I'm so sorry. At least my 10 choker boxes didn't explode. After giving Planet all his stuff back and confirming that me and him were still on good terms, I set out to find some more people to kill. But after an hour of searching, I couldn't find anyone. So with just eight hearts to my name, it was time for me to go up against all my enemies all at once. The moment I logged on, I was confronted by Perry. He wanted to know what happened to the tree and why it was missing. But before I could even explain myself, I was attacked. Cool. This is interesting. Welcome to Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys- okay, wow, all right, cool. All right, huh.
Oh, your shield broke. You're going like, no. Okay. We chilling, we chilling. Please don't kill me. I won't kill you, I won't kill you, I won't kill you, I won't kill you. I can assure you, I didn't do anything to betray you or take the tree or anything, all right? I'm a good guy, all right? You promise? Yes, I promise, I promise. I'm on the right side of the law today. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. gotta help me get the tree, okay? I'll help you get the tree. Yeah, I'll be I'll be your right hand man. All right, I got you. All right, don't worry. Do I'm I'm prepared. So after somehow weaseling my way back onto Parrot Side, we managed to run into Radoons, the enemy team leader. A little bit of extra lore for you: the tree that we're fighting over is the only natural tree that was left in spawn. Radoons wants to move the tree to a private location where no one can find it, while Parrot, on the other hand, wants the tree to be inside of spawn for everybody to see. Anyways, Radoons is at 20 whole hearts, so we need to. Call up some backup. And together we began preparing for the fight to come. Hello? Hello? This yeah, is crazy. Perfect. I see a name, I see a name, I see a name. Redunes, redunes, redunes. What? Uh oh. Redunes right there. Wait, wait, crouch, 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 crouch. What is the game plan, Parrot? Parrot, what do we do? Oh, I don't know. What do you mean? Go down the tunnel. Down the tunnel. Yeah, to the left. To the left. Crouch, quickly, crouch. quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. No, no, no. Go this way. Go this way. Right what there. The? What is They're this? Right there, though. They're right oh, there. Parrot, right there, right above you. Get down here. Down the tunnel. Down the tunnel. Shift. Parrot, go. Move. Move. After barely escaping our enemy's ambush, we all got together at the end of the tunnel and made one final push towards the enemy. Oh wait, I see them, I see them, I see them, they're up there. Is there yet? Oh wait, they're potted up, they're potted up, they're potted up, they're potted up. Alright guys, back to the lingering tunnel. Lingering weakness no, 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 spot, no, no, he's oh, in no, the no, lingering no, weakness. Dude, I'm getting so many crits on him. Yeah, Redunes is getting low. That was me. Oh, look out! Oh my god. Go for Dawn, go for Dawn. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Don't feel comfortable with that. Get Dawn, get Dawn, get Dawn, get Dawn, get Dawn, he's so low, he's so low. Oh, get him! He just got blown up. One of them just got blown got up. Got him! Got him. Him. The other person is so low. I'm coming, I'm coming, I, I see him. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I got the shears. Also, I need water. Wait, what? Um, we need to pick this up. Let's pick this up. I just poisoned him! Um, that was such okay. a good poison! I'm gonna eat everything in there. <laughs> I got him! Okay, wait. Let's go! Let's go! Well, I didn't get him, but like, I like, pearled onto him perfectly, but I missed. He's sailing away. So despite my efforts, Radoons managed to get away. But regardless, this still counted as a win for us, so Woogie gave us the coordinates to the tree, and we began making our way there. Now after the adventure of a lifetime, me and the boys brought the tree back to spawn, and that was the end of the war. After this war, our temporary alliance kind of broke up. Recrap and Parrot started a war against each other. Rochambeau was just being Rochambeau. And I, ladies and gentlemen, I survived being on one heart on the Lifesteal SMP. Something that no other member on the server can say. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. This video took forever to make.